Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your controller for Steam. Just because it's kind of something that I've been asked. So the first step is obviously have your controller Steam. So then go into big picture mode. Go to a cool little valve startup thing. Go to library. And go to the game you want to do the controllers for. This is the one that I've been getting asked for. Ever since I showed you guys how to use a controller with any Steam game. So let's go ahead and quickly go through how to do it. You just choose anything. Let's choose the uh, supposed right mouse, which is the uh, left bumper stick. So what you do is you click which one you want, and then you just choose where you want it. So if I wanted it to be like the A button, I'd click the A. And then I'd leave it, and that's, that's now the, that now does the A button. The A button on the computer, not the A button on the Xbox controller. Um, if I want to change what the start button did, go ahead and I do that. If I want to change what the back button did, you do that too. Anything you click like this. Changes what your directional pad does on the left side, the left analog stick. The right analog stick I've put, I've chosen for mouse. Um, if you would rather change it, because a lot of different things. Joystick mouse is probably the best one though, to be honest. But those are all your options. Um, this changes what your D pad does. Right now it's up arrow, left arrow, right arrow, down arrow. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's pretty simple, it's easy to do. If you don't want to go ahead and change them yourself, there's a lot of pre-made ones. Minecraft Java Edition controller. This one's supposed to make it more Xbox like, more PlayStation like. Uh, brings the Xbox One Edition to Java. And then just use this one. I got mine available too. Or I thought I did. I can make mine available if you need me to. It's not that hard or. Tons of them. Absolutely it. It's pretty useful. Choose any of those if you can't do it yourself, but I think that I've explained it pretty well, I hope. If you guys have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, buddy. Peace out.